Welcome back everyone to the Hello World guys. This is another episode of the Asteroids Game in C++ series and this is actually the final episode and in this video we are gonna just wrap things up and push our code to GitHub and uh, uh, you know close up this series. In the next video we will continue and begin our next series. So yeah that's going to be pretty awesome and uh, if you've got some cool ideas about the next series or there's something specific that you'd like assistance with uh, make sure to let me know in the comments so that uh, I can make a tutorial about that and uh, uh, feel free to reach out and ask any questions that you may have about the, this project or any other or if you've got any other cool idea. Uh, for now though we are going to go ahead and uh, just push this code to github so if you remember uh, if you don't know already then I have uh, I have created a github repo for this as well you can uh, get it uh, you know in the get the link in the description and uh, uh, we I have also shown how to set up a github repo with the visual studio in a video you can check that out if you are not sure if you have set up a github repo though in order to just push our latest changing and uh, changes and make everything work we are going to go under git changes and you can see it's showing all of the stuff that I modified since my last commit and I'm going to just uh, put a commit uh, as uh, finish uh, game and then we are going to just say commit all and yeah you can see that that was created successfully so yeah that's uh, that's pretty good and uh, while that works there is a bit of a problem right now uh, which is that uh, you can see that uh, we have got mm, uh, it working but if you remember we had a little bit of a bug in which our asteroid uh, you know was uh, uh, sometimes spawned right where the player was and that caused the player to get destroyed immediately like the player was suddenly the game was over without any good reason so in order to fix that bug there are a couple of ways mm, to go around that firstly we could try to figure out some way to make sure that the asteroid does not spawn where the player is and easier way might be to just uh, make sure that when the player spawns somewhere if the asteroid spawns somewhere there is a small amount of time before it actually starts registering its uh, uh, events so for this uh, if we are going to just implement it real quick it's going to be very simple so we're going to just create a float here um, called life uh, yeah just call it life and uh, we are going to set it of course by default it's going to be at zero uh, we can initialize it in the constructor so let's go ahead and uh, go here and initialize our life like that to whatever the default value is uh, which is zero and uh, uh, in the update function we are just going to make sure that we uh, increase our life by the delta time so this is this will keep track of how much the uh, asteroid has been alive and we are going to go here and create a uh, const expression float here uh, we are going to call this not asteroid spawn time uh, instead we are going to call this asteroid uh, hit time let's just call it hit time uh, or you could call it something else so there could be better names but uh, uh, let us call it that and we are going to go ahead in the player.cpp where we are actually doing this here and uh, uh, before we check this we are going to go here after we are done casting the asteroid we are going to say if uh, asteroid uh, and then we are going to do and say life uh, well actually life is a private variable so we'll need to create a uh, let's create a getter for this let's just create a public function float get life and this is going to just uh, let's just implement it in line since it's going to be really simple we are going to just return our life here pretty simple so yeah that's that's pretty cool so we'll just say get life here uh, and we are going to check if that is greater than or equal to the asteroid hit time which is uh, set to 3 you can see we are actually going to set it to 2 since 3 is too much perhaps even 1 but no let's set it to 2 for the first 2 seconds the asteroid will not do anything so that should give the player mm, a chance to kind of uh, get themselves out of the uh, asteroid area if that is the case if it's greater than or equal to that we are going to just uh, actually not greater than or equal to that we are going to check if it is less than that and if it is less than that uh, we are going to just continue we are going to uh, continue and we need to skip the rest of the loop and it will uh, go ahead and do the next iteration of the loop so we are going to implement that and that should hopefully fix our problem and since we have made a another changes we are going to just say fixed uh, a bug here and f we are going to commit again and after we have done this we can just push this to the main branch so yeah guys this is pretty much it for this video and this series and uh, well it's uh, our local my local branch is behind the uh, main branch because I added a readme file there so I'm going to do pull and push here that should sync it correctly 
anyways guys this is pretty much it for this video i'll see you in the next one in which we will begin our next series so stay tuned for that because that's going to be pretty awesome and make sure to give me some cool ideas about that and i'm thinking about making an android game in c++ using like native opengl code uh, so uh, tell me let me know in the comments how that sounds to you so i'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss that one i'll see you in the next one and bye